Okay, uh, I'm going to make this video showing um, an issue I'm having with my vibrating shuttle. This is my 1904 model. Um, it's, it's a uh, Model 28. And when I got this machine, the bobbin that was in it, um, I wasn't able to get the thread to come through the bobbin. I've, I've uh, pulled the, the leaf off of here. I've cleaned everything. And if I put a bobbin in there and I try to pull it through the little hole that's underneath of this plate, um, it doesn't, it just grabs. It does not want to come out of the actual bobbin itself. Not even with the uh, tension spring off of here, it does not want to come off, come out of the, uh, the body of this, this uh, shuttle. Now, this shuttle has a little notch in it, and um, it does not have the little indent right here like most shuttles or modern shuttles anyways that's the original shuttle that was in this machine I took out um, a model 128 shuttle from 1936 model and I put it in this machine and this is the shuttle style it has the uh, has the indent there it does not have that little groove though so I don't know if this is causing an issue um, it seems to be sewing perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with that. Um, see if I can put this in there properly. There we go. So it doesn't have any problems with sewing. But what I did notice is this is the original cover plate. And see this groove that's in here? This groove is embedded deep into this plate. It's hard to see, but there you go. Look at the groove that is worn into that plate, okay? Now I have another Model 28 that is from 1895, and it is much quieter than this machine, and it does not do the same thing this one does. Now I'm not sure, I'm thinking it's an adjustment between the um, shuttle and the actual machine itself, but I'm not sure if it's the feed dogs hitting neither. I'm going to see if I can catch this on camera but as I turn this slowly when it gets to this one point you can just see it hop up there you can see this end right here hop up and this end gets pushed down a bit now I'm not sure if it's catching the the feed dogs or if the shuttle is hitting the groove where the needle is now the needle is new there's nothing wrong with the needle it's not bent needle feed dogs are clean I've done all that and I've oiled the machine and checked everything everything seems to be working pretty good but it is a noisy machine and I noticed that this jumps you can see it right there right when it gets to the end of its stroke there see it hop up there now it's not doing it as bad as it was but it is still doing it um, and, it, and it was after I've oiled and stuff so I'm assuming they needed some oil in here uh, so anyways, I made this video for Bob Fowler. I was hoping maybe he can give me some insight on this. Um, if it's a matter of me adjusting uh, my distance between my shuttle and my deck here. Um, you know, I, I've seen his videos on that and I can do that. But is it um, an adjustment for the feed dogs or is it an adjustment for the shuttle? Because I don't want to spend time trying to adjust this because I know it's not an easy task if, unless you have the wire feelers. Um, but uh, the feed dogs could be an easier adjustment and it might just be feed dogs out for all I know. I'm not 100% sure on why it is doing this. I put a new um, cover on here and you can see this cover had no marks in it when I put it on there. See that line in there? That is what this machine is doing now I don't know if that's common or not um, let me take a quick peek at my other model one or my other model 28 yeah I don't notice that on my other model so I'm assuming something else out here because this machine is uh, only nine years newer than my other machine and uh, it's got quite a bit more noise to it. Still does a beautiful stitch and still works fine. Uh, I could also see someone's vice grip on here. So someone's probably dug into this machine in the past. I also think this machine might be a recycled machine, one that was traded in through Singer and uh, redone and put it back out on the market. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that, and I'll explain that in a further video. But I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not a... I'm not a historian on singers. I've only been collecting for a couple years. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. So I thought I'd make this 
video for Bob. You can check that out for me uh, or let me know any information. Put me in the right uh, path. I don't want to be messing with the shuttle if it's a feed dog issue because I'm assuming it would be a lot easier to adjust my feed dogs than it is to adjust the shuttle. Um, this is also the older style without the pop-up. Also, maybe you can answer this question. Can I change the shuttle carrier from my 1936 128 and put it in place of this model 28? Putting this um, shuttle bobbin would be the mate to the actual shuttle that was here because the machine that it was in it did work believe it or not it was just a matter of it was in poor condition and i needed parts anyways um maybe bob can answer this for me or anyone else but uh, that's what i'm talking about here i just find it odd that when i get to this point the shuttle wants to hop up a little bit here and push down on this end um and uh, like i said you can really see you can really see the wear in that plate i don't think that's supposed to be um an eighth inch deep groove. <laughs> I don't think that was meant to uh, to be something to keep the bobbin from popping out of the machine. Anyways, um, just let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, but I, I'm assuming that this is out of adjustment. Um, the screw, believe it or not, underneath does not look like it has any kind of marks from somebody trying to work on it. So this is why I don't wanna dive into adjusting something if it's not this part. Anyways, uh, hopefully I get some answers on this video and stay safe and take care.